Hello my darlings and welcome back to the Bewitched Hours channel. In this video I'm going to be talking and sharing my top five movies directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Now Alfred was an English film director, producer as well as screenwriter and he was best known as the master of suspense. Alfred directed over 50 films in a career spanning six decades from the 20s up until the 80s and he was really a really controversial person. If you want to know what these five movies are then don't go anywhere. Marnie is a 1964 psychological thriller starring Tippi Hedren and Sean Connery. And the movie is about Marnie Holland, who is a secretary at a tax consulting company. On the outside, she seems like any ordinary employee, but as the story progresses, we come to realise that she hides a much darker side to her personality. Marnie meets her match when she comes under the focus of a wealthy widower named Mark Rutland, who becomes obsessed with her. During the filming of Marnie, Alfred's fixation with Tippy, both mentally and physically, converged with the craziness that pulled the two lead characters in the plot. And this was noticeable to the viewer through the director's lens that shuddered and shook every time Hedren was on screen. Rear Window is a 1954 mystery thriller starring James Stewart and Grace Kelly. The movie is about Jeff, a professional photographer who is confined to a wheelchair due to an accident that left him with a broken leg. To pass the time, he spies on his neighbours throughout his rear window that looks onto a courtyard and several apartments. One night, during a thunderstorm, Jeff becomes convinced that he witnessed a murder at one of his neighbours' apartment. What I loved about this film is the, the suspense that it will put you in. For the entirety of the movie, one question will be at the forefront of your mind. Did the husband really murder his wife or did he not? Psycho is a 1960 psychological horror thriller starring Anthony Perkins, Janet Leigh, Vera Miles and John Gavin. Psycho is about Marion Grain and her boyfriend Sam Loomis. The two want to get married but because of Sam's debts they can't afford to. So one day, without talking to Sam about it, Marion steals $40,000 from one of her boss's clients and she runs away to California where her boyfriend lives. En route to Farewell, California, a heavy rainstorm delays her drive and she ends up at the Bates Motel. There, she meets Norman Bates, a charming young man with a controlling mother. At night time, during a shower, Marion is murdered in cold blood. But why? Psycho is considered one of Hitchcock's best works. With every shot, with every scene, you can tell that as a director, he had a deep urge to control every detail. Dial M for Murder is a 1954 crime mystery film starring Ray Millard, Grace Kelly and Robert Cummings. The movie is about an English professional tennis player who is married to a socialist, Margaret Wendis, who had an affair with an American writer. When Tony, the husband, discovered this, he makes a decision to murder his wife for two reasons. The first one is simply revenge, but the second one is to make sure that he inherits his wife's money. Dial M for Murder explores all the dark sides of humans that Alfred relished examining and projecting to the world. 
Vertigo is a 1958 film noir psychological thriller film starring James Stewart and Kim Novak. This film is about John, a detective who is forced to retire due to his fear of heights and vertigo. One day, John receives a call from an old acquaintance from college, Gavin, who asks him to keep an eye on his wife, Madeleine an act that will lead John through a dark road of obsession and debt. This movie can only be appreciated by film lovers who gravitate towards darker, complex stories. Vertigo has many facets to it, and watching it one time will not be enough to understand what Alfred was trying to convey with every scene and every line. In this video, I shared with you my top five movies by Alfred Hitchcock, where he dives into murder, mental illness, and sexual morals. Alfred's tyranny on sets, in addition to his obsession with certain female actresses, turned him into a notorious persona. Nevertheless, he was a talented director who was way ahead of his time. I honestly love so many, so many works and projects by Alfred, but like I said, these five movies are my favorite. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell as well. And let me know in the comments down below if you've watched any Hitchcock movies, what did you think about them? And I'll be talking to you very soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.